and try to uncover the truth behind Nick Blicky's come up and what may have led to his passing. Born Nicholas Thompson, he will become known as Nick Blicky of Brooklyn, New York. Well, say he don't fuck with you like that to walk up. Hey, Silky, I love you, heart kissing. We was down the block at a studio from Boss instead of saying what's up, he posted uh, in the Twitter group chat. Yeah, bro, this nigga Boss, as soon as he see me, this nigga Boss went to the cruise and laughed my ass off. I just see Silky. I, I didn't walk up to him though. That's facts. People don't know Nick dead. Like, that's <laughs> rest in peace, my bro, Nick. <laughs> oh, oh, that's facts. People don't know Nick dead like that. Oh, rest in peace, my bro, Nick. Word. V cock, V cock. Bodacious Brad with the big two months. I appreciate you. Hey, Silky, I love you. Love you too. V cock. When he took the step into rapping and banging. Before that, his destiny ahead was already being built in the gritty streets of the Bronx. He would eventually jump off the porch and become a member of the Gangsta Disciples after being inducted into what the world now knows as Blicky Gang. The rapper that created the movement, 22 G's, who was first 22 Blicky. I was 22 Blicky in the beginning. I'm still 22 Blicky though, but I'm 22 G's, you feel me? At a young age, Nick would start spitting more and more. 22 G's porch, was already rising in the raps. She cares, you don't know even what jumping off the porch is, bro. You're a good kid, bro. Just stay in a good kid lane, bro. <laughs> Don't even know what that is. <laughs> gave him the push to Don't pursue it, but Nick was still holding back and not taking it serious. It was only when 22 G's was locked up on a hit charge for a shooting in Miami where a body was dropped did Nick really step up and show out. 19-year-old Jeffrey Alexander allegedly shot and killed 30-year-old Ladarian Tyrell Phillips of Homestead. 22 G's would be unaware the rapper had a track recorded. I made my first track, but I did it, I did it behind the nigga back type shit. But we'll soon find out that Nick would be the one to hold Blicky Gang down alongside his gang brothers. Never took it serious to like, I got locked up in Miami. That's when he started like going hard. So you know, three my boy too. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I get what you're saying, but dropping them rakes the same disrespect as dissing the dead. It's bro dying behind the nation, and you're well, a bit for giggles, but say what you all want. Hey, what the fuck? Obviously, dropping the rakes is disrespectful too, bro. Obviously, it is disrespectful, bro. But it is not the same as saying some fuck somebody's dead man's, bro. It is a fact, bro. That is somebody that died behind that shit, bro. That is somebody that literally died, bro. That is literally somebody that literally died, bro. Saying fuck somebody's dead man's, bro. Like saying, bro. Like obviously, is 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 disrespectful in a way. Yeah, is it, bro? You drop somebody's set, bro. Niggas not gonna kick, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Niggas not, bro. You are going to get slapped. You're gonna get violated. You say yo, fuck it, damn man. You're getting, you're getting put in the grave. Twenty two didn't nah, start. Even if, Lixby, even if like you, like, like, you drop it and like, be chatting. you're not the op, like. Yeah, not like a, they're not even gonna give a fuck, bro. Yeah, like bro, like. But if, if you're not an op and you and you diss their dead man, they're gonna violate you. Yeah, bro, like yo, and you think you think if Dan dropped GDK, dropped GDK, bro, Dan is yeah, gonna get slapped, yeah. bro. They're not violating, nigga. Now if Dan dropped GDK and he say, "Yo, fuck your dead man's," I'm getting violated, bro. That nigga Dan is 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 finished, bro. It's finished, bro. It's <laughs> it's finished, bro. Like bro. it's a fact, bro. Zerg, 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 no gulag, bro. Straight to the heavens. <laughs> He's in a yeah, gulag, bro. That's really just tapping and crazy. Nick would later reunite with his homie Twenty Two after his prison stint. And I don't even be dropping a race, bro. I don't even be dropping a race like that, bro. I only dropped, the, bro. I probably only dropped the race when I combo up my game size, bro. That's the only time, bro. That's the only time I dropped the race. It, that's the only time. You really see me drop the race. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do I ain't gonna do my I ain't gonna do my I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna rep my shit right now, but you feel me, niggas know what I you feel me, I ain't gonna you feel me like word. I ain't gonna Word Niggas know my shit. <laughs> stack some word. <laughs> my, my, nigga, my shit be stacking, nigga. Two C's, nigga. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. All the way to the. <laughs> good. Yo, I'm nice with it too. Oh my god. I'm that Jet Lee Part 2, which currently sits I'm over that 1 nice million views on YouTube. Nigga said face up, dude. <laughs> Blicky was becoming the next big thing out the streets of Brooklyn. Dick Associates like Nas Blicky and Breezy Blicky <laughs> were also running up numbers with tracks like Rampage. And come back. Nick Blicky and his homies were on the rise and plotting domination. But you know the old recurring tale. The more money, the more stack problems, on your Insta story. The more success. Bro, are you I would never stack on my Insta story. Are you crazy, bro? Yo. If I stack on my Insta story, bro, and yo, yo, I nigga see that shit, bro. Niggas be like, yo, 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 yo. 
Yo, you you never caught the L7, Kazi. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm not doing that, bro. I'm good. Niggas got L7 when I get back home. I get love. I'm good. <laughs> That's the more I get love. <laughs> Mixed that with beefs that they were involved in. I remember I reached in bro. Brooklyn. Like, things was bound to go sideways yo, to be at honest, some bro, point. The battle between the shows who were made up of GDs like Blicky Gang. I don't know how niggas is 24 still get jumped into games, bro. Was getting out of control. That's some G site shit. There were 53 shootings, <laughs> up from 12 the same time last Wait, year. Sir? And for the entire <laughs> year, there have been four. Baba? What up, Wait, Brady? Yo, what's good, Glory NYC? Appreciate the seven months. What do you mean? I'm saying I don't understand how niggas is still getting jumped into gangs, bro. Like, uh, only nigga like well, that would do some shit like that is G size. Like, like, I, like, you, like niggas is pushing dirty trying to get jumped into gangs, bro. All right, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> nah, some nigga dick ain't. <laughs> nigga said some Namir shit. <laughs> nah, that's straight dick suck. That's straight dick suck. Up from 329 last year. Law enforcement was fighting to curb the situation, making arrests for the spiraling amount nah, of shooting. Nah, I think Namir was always banging. I think he was GD. No, nah, I think he still is GD, though. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I think this was like a playground for the young bulls coming up in the game. The drill music created by soldiers like Nick added to the rising popularity of the street life their sounds preach. The spotlight would be shown down on Nick and the Blickies when head honcho 22 G's He's would get signed the Kodak yeah, Black Sniper Gang label. Naughty nasty. Blicky, blicky, blicky. Hey. Blicky, blicky, blicky. Sniper Blicky, man. Blicky the sniper. Sniper. Yo, what you don't look up, Gang, gang. This would open Nick to the world of the music industry, with 22 G's taking him out on tours and shows. Nah, he was sturdy, bro. Nah, that nigga was sturdy. He would capitalize on. Oh, yo, the come on, bro. Cute. Come on, bro. Why he got the job? That shit. Whoa, what? <laughs> nigga, he looking like you, nigga. He would capitalize on the momentum by dropping hit after hit to feed the streets. Upset, different type of time, and the banger dry the boat. The rise beside 22 G's brought Nick a new beef, and nah, he, he would violate Nop in the process. He would make it known to Ops that he was about that life. And he proved it. Chef G, the rapper that dissed his homie 22 G's multiple times, mocking his songs with No Suburban and No Suburban Part 2, got sliced in the head from who the streets say was Nick Blicky. Those songs are fire, nigga. So you get cut in the head. Did, did you feel <laughs> it? Happen? Nah, my adrenaline was just too up. So I couldn't really feel it. When I seen the blood, that's how I knew I got cut. Okay. The gang was on a rampage as they became more notorious, ready to go at anyone, anywhere, anytime. So Saki so dip, like these <laughs> not popping out with Daffy Wu at. Drop your location too. We already caught JJ. Jimmy, get up! <laughs> Jimmy, get up! Jimmy, get up! Jimmy, get up, nigga! Wait, wait, whoa, wait, JJ. what? JJ, get up! Your man's gonna get up! Your yeah. man's gonna get up, nigga! Yeah. Talk about we applying pressure on all y'all niggas, what up? Things would soon escalate to the point of no return when rival Wu star player Pop Smoke was murked at I a Hollywood Hills that. home in early 2020 by four- Bro, first of all, this nigga need to watch his fucking mouth, bro. We can talk about some he got murked. Like this thing need to watch his fucking mouth. It's alleged the hitters got the info to his whereabouts when Pop mistakenly posted the tag of something he bought with his address showing on the back. Blickies would do what savages in the streets do and celebrate and laugh at their ops passing. Well, I'm saying do as, do, if you want to get a check, it, it is gas or what? This would bring the downfall of one of the most promising GDs out of Brooklyn. But Nick Blicky would be the victim of retaliation in a never ending feud, and how they got their get back was straight foul. Exactly one year ago, on May 10th, not too long after Pop was murked, Nick suffered the same fate. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga's getting me tight, 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 bro. In the streets of New York, video, he was found with gunshot wounds in front of 200 Winthrop. Bro, let me make sure this nigga doesn't show it, though. Okay. Street in Prospect Lafert's Gardens around 9 30 p.m. He would be rushed to NYC Health and Hospitals, Kings County. So what? I said his shit would get demonetized if he showed that. Oh. Where he was pronounced deceased. After footage leaked of Blicky on the floor with cops surrounding him, it was initially assumed he was a victim of police brutality.
confirmed by his gang brother Nas Blicky. With rumors of the police being responsible put to rest, the world was left to wonder what happened. It was Did then that the truth began shotgun? to leak, yeah. that he was a casualty of the streets and the escalating situation between him and his ops. Talks would point to it being get back for Pop Smoke and the Blickies making fun of his passing. Persons would try to clear Nick's name from the drama, but his passing was already a reality and law enforcement was now coming forward to say they believe it was truly in fact linked to the hit of Pop Smoke increasing tension in the streets. Social media and online platforms will be used to both mourn his life, celebrating, and disrespect his demise. Well, Nick, what you six three candles, gang? See what's up. His ops will go to extreme lengths to disrespect. Nah. Smoking on that. Nah. Acting them niggas. Nah, that nigga's a problem. <clears throat> Nah, nigga said you mock pop. Now we pop that. Nah, that's different. Oh my god. Oh nah, that nigga's talking crazy. His ops will go to extreme lengths to disrespect the slain blicky rapper Just O. So, uh, I said Matty G's. He like that. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, this nigga Justo B was wildin' when he did this shit, bro. B will post up on IG a pic of him standing on Nick's grave with a rake and shirt reading Rest in Piss Nick Blicky, GDK. Yo, As if that wasn't pushing bro, it far they, enough, they he would make a video. Yeah. 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 This, this, they, 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 this wasn't sure. even his this wasn't even his tomb, bro. That was the wrong grave. They creep they, bro, this is this they shit. Cre they cremated Nick. Like, they cremated him. It's like a different level of disrespect right yeah, here, bro. This, this is O D. And this is and, and, and this is this is this is when you're saying, yo, fuck somebody's dead man's, bro. This is this is basically what you're saying, bro. This is nah, death yeah, bro. Bro on yeah, God, all the body, stuff yo. he said is false. How he this died is the one that killed him was not if due to shit like that. You gotta be dude from bold Phoenix, like this nigga. Claimed to be a fan. Nah. on god all that stuff he said is false how he died the person that killed him was not cho or none of that some dude from philly someone that claimed to be a fan yeah i heard that i heard that i heard that he claimed to be a fan and he popped him popping champagne what? in celebration yeah they was like yo like saying like he's a big fan i, I like by the deli and then they like like or some shit like that and he called him like go crossing across the street and popped him what? I thought he was a fan. <laughs> to be like a fan. He faked to be like a fan. GS9 oh, member and Bobby Schmurter affiliate. Yeah. Betty Luciano. That's what they were saying. GS9 member and Bobby Schmurter affiliate, Betty Luciano, who was the main op going at it with the Blickies while Schmurter was incarcerated, was doing the oh, most after Nick passed. One of these nigga that was that got killed, you know what I'm saying? He was smoking on pop, so so we smoking on him right now and shit like that, you know, regular. Ops were coming out the <laughs> trenches to take their shot at the fallen blick. Yo, nah, bro. He wants to drop on you. Yo, what did he say? Why is he sleeping? 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 Why is he Oh, I think I think I think he was trying to cut their eyes because he's saying like these two niggas are sleeping together. Look, <laughs> see, there's a nigga behind him, a nigga right here. Yeah. Smoking a Nick Pack. Uh, Fuck you, talking about Come Nicholas. On, While the ops was having their fun, investigators broke shocking news not too long after about the suspect being eyed with Nick's targeted hit. The person of interest will be revealed as ex-con Khalif Glean, who previously did time in prison for an attempted hit. But wait, get this. Cops obtained surveillance footage that caught the gruesome act, but what made it really gruesome was the evidence that pointed to Nick being cool with Khalif. Yep, you heard me correct. According to video surveillance gathered by cops, Glean dat Blicky up moments before taking his life. Crazy, right? Done in. Yo. Bro, what the fuck, Imagine bro. Imagine that to that happens, somebody come up as a fan, and then next thing you know, they just. This world is fucking disgusting, bro. Like, it actually is disgusting, bro. You just don't know who anymore, bro. By his own. Guess he was rocking with the ops now. Cops were able to piece together the puzzle by ID and Glean through details caught in the footage. The ops now, moments before taking his life. According to video surveillance gathered by cops, Glean dat Blicky up moments before taking his life. Crazy, right? Done in by his own. Guess he was rocking with the ops now. 
Cops were able to piece together the puzzle by ID and glean through details caught in the footage. The shooter would be seen wearing a blue bandana, a hoodie with a pattern on it, bronze foam posit shoes, and a big gold ring on his left hand ring finger. The icing on the cake was a globe tattoo visible on the shooter's left arm, one that matches photos and descriptions of Glean. Surveillance captured 10 minutes before the drilling supports this evidence, catching him in a deli near the scene, buying a drink with a very detailed globe tattoo visible. Multiple witnesses would assist with the investigations, one confirming that she saw a man approach Blicky and both greeting each other before Glean backed up and let shots fly. The other witness down the block heard the gunshots and saw a man wearing a hoodie and a blue bandana run away from the scene and hop on a getaway dirt bike that was driven up by an unknown person. Tie this in with the 9mm Luger caliber ammunition that cops accused Glean of possessing, being a match to the shell casings found at the scene, and it seems an open and shut case. The results point to Nick Blicky being portrayed by his own. His mother, who took control over his IG account after passing, has since posted a very emotional statement in response to her son's life being taken. She also gives a different angle on what she thought happened to her son Nick. She believes that the Blicky gang sacrificed him so they could attain success. No, listen, Usa Heifer planned this. My son was sacrificed. With his mom's believing he was sacrificed, yeah. and evidence connecting an acquaintance to his hit, we're all left wishing his legacy wasn't cut short so soon. Just less than a month away, he was plotting the release of his debut mixtape, Different Timing. It's sad that he never got to see it come to the light of day. Get Back has been in full effect for Nick Blicky. Soon after, bodies would start dropping for Wolves and everyone GDK. Rappers like GS9 Bugsy and GDK member KJ Bala were murked in cold blood. Bro, this nigga just keeps saying murk, bro. You Yes, bro. He's murdered, bro. You don't gotta say murk, bro. Nah, yeah, murk does sound great. Bro, like, yo, Zerge, when you play Cold 2D and you shit on somebody, yo, I just murk that nigga! <laughs> yeah, that's... Like, bro, that's you don't say murk, bro. Like, but I'm just saying, bro, like, you don't say that shit, but this nigga is wildin'. This nigga is wildin'. Nah, this nigga is shit on a nigga, bro. Like, come on, bro. Murk is literally, like, shitting on a nigga, like... This nigga keeps saying Merc is so disrespectful, but it's like only getting worse with every score added to the scoreboard. It's an endless back and forth where no one truly wins, just repetition <laughs> of grief, trauma, and loss. For everybody that drops, take it out sub only. Side his back. Less than a year later, Blicky member Lou Blicky was the target for the ops get back, paying the same price that a talented and promising rapper like Nick Blicky suffered. The ball has been set in motion, and only time will tell what will become of the added popularity Nick Blicky brought to his game. They can use his motivation to rise to the top and keep his memory alive, or they can use his demise to exact revenge and push the beat further. And from recent events, it seems like the latter is their mission. Most we can do now is hope for the best and continue blasting Nick Blicky through the speakers so his music never fades. Long live Nick Blicky. Long live Nick Blicky. Love you. Miss you. It's fucking ridiculous, bro. Nah, actually, I'm gonna dislike this video. Nah, actually, I don't want to dislike this video. I just, I, I ain't gonna lie, I want to, I don't like this nigga, bro. This nigga be saying murked, bro. I don't like this nigga, bro. I don't like that nigga at all, bro.